Clay, your friendly neighborhood law chief, Michael Glennon here, and today I'm on a mission, all right? I am going to figure out what the lodge really thinks of the Mr. Michael Glennon, as well as trying to figure out ways to improve the lodge for the better. But first, in order to do this, I have to go undercover. I have to transform. Now that I'm completely inconspicuous, it's time to go undercover. All right, so now it's time to figure out what this food committee really think of Michael Glennon. Hi, not Michael Lennon. How are you? What are you guys doing? Playing Magic the Gathering. Your food committee. Oh, yeah. it's, it's two hours till lunch. Why, why are you cooking or cleaning or you know doing your jobs? Who do you think you are? The lodge chief? No. But I hear he's a really great guy. Yeah, that's weird. Hi, not Michael Lennon. Nice to meet you. Did one of you guys do this? Did, which one of you did this? He's a really awesome person, you know that, right? I've never seen such disrespect for a lodge chief. <laughs> He'll be hearing about this. That not Michael Glennon guy? He's a jerk. Oh, that, that's definitely Michael Glennon. Wait, what? I don't, I don't know. About that. Yeah. Wait. We got a beard! Ah, the ordeal. The cornerstone of the OA. It was once home to Michael Glennon when he was ordeal chairman. <laughs> And now, I'll figure out, since my departure from the Ordeal Committee, what do they really think of the Michael Glenn? <laughs> so, you guys like Mike? Really say nothing, and say nothing if that's a yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anything we can prove about the Ordeal? That's a no. It's perfect. Ah, Sullivan, my past home. I expect a lot from my former committee. What is this? When Michael Glenn was ordeal chairman, they never took breaks. What is this? What is this? It's the Tommy Reese to be my lunch kid. The Tommy just won the kickball game. Yeah! 18-0! 18-0! 18-0! Yeah! 18-0! No. This is the way it's supposed to be. When Michael Glenn was ordeal chairman of this committee, it had integrity. It had work ethic. It was out there, in camp, doing cheerful service 24-7. They lived that our deal life. Get back to work. Who do you think you are? Who the are you lodge chief? Hey man, thanks for giving me a ride. Uh, not Michael Glenn, by the way. Oh, John Summer, logistics chair. Nice to meet you. So, you're logistics chairman, not how that's, how that's going? Uh, it's going pretty good, man. Nice. Uh, you also be, used to be Conclave chairman, right? Yeah. Uh, now that it's over, you know, how how do you feel? You know, back when I was Conclave chair, I was somebody. Like I was like the Batman, and Conclave was like my Joker. And without it, I'm nobody. <laughs> oh, wait, John, we still gotta deliver that water. Rich, by the way. I'm having a moment right now, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I should probably get going. Uh, thank, thank you for the ride. Put up to help our lodge out. Seemed like a really nice guy. I think he'll make a great member to our lodge. And, uh, Oh, hey, here he is right now. Uh, John, I have something I want to tell you. Mike Glennon. Yes, I am Mike Glennon. And no I, way. Way. And so that was a after, fake beard? No, it's completely real. After walking around uh, this entire day and hearing a lot of heartwarming stories and meeting a lot of people who love Mike Glennon and absolutely no one who hates him, I've decided to make a change in this lodge. You are going to be Conclave Chairman for life. Oh my gosh. Yes! All right. Thank you for your service, buddy. My mom's gonna kill me. 